Hey everyone, welcome back to POA for you. Uh, my name is Leroy and today we are continue with the specimen paper 2021 for all levels, paper 2, question 1. Um, the last video uh, we shared three very important steps to tackle this kind of questions. Um, and today I'm going to show you how those three important steps can translate into submitting your deliverable or coming up with your deliverable which is the financial performance statement and your statement of financial position seamlessly all right let's get right into it and see how it works okay so these three important steps um let me just change this there's three important steps this uh tells us which is the financial position state uh, uh items and financial performance items that's step one a recap of step two from this additional information we prepare the journal entries and step three um, we from these journal entries we would update these balances where these balances are impacted or highlight any new accounts that we don't see in the trial balance and indicate whether they are part uh, relating to part a or part b of the question okay so now let's go through this the first deliverable is the financial performance statement, right? Format is a trading company because they buy and sell goods. There's cost of sales and that's one way to identify it. Uh, then we standard format. So you got to remember the standard format. Sales revenue starts first. New, no new balance. So it's 325, one, two, three. Uh, less sales returns, yeah? Less sales returns. How much is that? Two to four oh oh. I have done these two, so I'm going to click it off, right? You gotta cross it out so that you don't need to worry about it anymore. And then you will get your equals to gross uh, sales revenue minus sales returns. Then this is called net sales revenues. Okay, then you less cost of sales. Uh this is nine four three oh oh and this i want to cross it up then it will give you a something what is it what is this called yep you're right gross profits okay this is the direct profits from just buying and selling the goods right up. then you add other income and what is the other income that you have here correct rent received so rent received received mm -hmm. how much is that 1000 no there's a new balance so 1500 pick up the new balances when they're when you have them okay then you less other expenses now other expenses so look at all the eight items let's transfer all these three expenses okay wages and salaries so wages and salaries, I'm going to abbreviate this, uh, but you shouldn't in your exams, I guess you need to write it in full. 7952, seven, oh, that's the new balance. Mm, equipment repairs, uh, the new balance is 8600. Oh, oh. uh, general expenses is uh, 393500. Oh, oh. oh yes, and I think you are supposed to also write in when you put in the new balance, how you get the new balance or the workings for the new balance, right? So I'm just going to indicate that here for each of this item. Um, and then, right, I'm just going to quickly do that. I believe that's a requirement from your examiner's request, uh, but you could clarify that with your teachers in school too. Uh, Right, and what else had a new balance? Sales revenues, I think all these didn't have a new balance. Okay, that's fine. So all these A's have been transferred. Is that it? No, it's not it. So we gotta look at the journal entries, right? Because there are some A's here as well. So let's transfer some of these A's across, okay? So the first one I see is depreciation expense uh, equipment. And that's uh, 48250. Um, and I'm going to mark that as done. Then second one is depreciation expense motor vehicles. So I'm going to transfer that as well. MV, how much is that? Mm, 10752. I'm going to mark that as done as well. And the third one is your impairment loss. Uh, impairment loss on 
trade receivables. I've abbreviated it, but you shouldn't. I believe examiners would want to see it spelled in full. So that's it. Any, any more A's on the table? Nothing left. So that's everything. So what's your total expenses? Uh, I, should, I should actually move this here. So you move this beside, oops, excuse me, here. And then I could do my total. I could do my total. Uh, just let me change that. I could do my total here. All right. There you go. And then you have a profit for the year. For the year. Of course, if it's negative, then it's a loss for the year. But let's see whether it should be a profit, right? This one, this plus the gross profit plus other income, less all the expenses. So you have a profit of 43,128. And that's it for the first part, right? We did that in six minutes, including all our conversations. Now, this profit for the year, you have to know that this you have goes to B uh, because this is a financial performance a position item. All right, and I'll show you how later. Uh, in the meantime, let's cut this out and move this aside for the financial position statement. Uh, financial position, I'll take in the the template. I'll transfer it here, and this is a standard template. You need to know about this, right? Uh, for the purpose of this, I will just delete all these uh, items first, and I will share it with you. I will show you how I populate this, right? Uh, the working steps okay so this is a temp um, template i'll start with uh, non-current assets i'll fish out those so this is equipment at cost oh, sorry equipment then you put the cost here is it 196 no it's not it's 193 123 depreciation uh accumulated depreciation for equipment is not 98 is the new number 146 5 uh, 250 net book value is cost minus depreciation uh motor vehicles uh oops okay then this is 84 one, two, three and motor vehicles uh, the new number is 992 and this is what i have um and i get a sum a new number here and that is good i will mark all these four items as done right so um now i will go back to current assets current assets what do i have as current assets so the first item here is i see is trade receivables um good right this is a current asset now i'll put in a number twenty thousand. what else do i have to do i have to less allowance for impairment i'm going to abbreviate this of trade receivables okay so this is the number thing that will always tag along with trade receivables. Then how much is this balance? It's not 600, there's a new balance, 800. Remember, that's 4% of the balance. And then I'm going to uh, find out what the net trade receivables are. It's 19,020, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, so trade receivables is done as well. Any other thing that is, yes, cash at bank. That's a uh, cash at bank that's a debit balance so that's an asset if it's a credit balance it's a liability okay inventory next one i'm going to transfer is inventory 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 41 320 oops 41 not 42 okay uh is that it all right all the b's are not asset here and let's go down i always have to check the journal entries there are a few b's so this b prepayment is a prepaid uh general expense is a current asset so i'm going to put it here i'm going to mark this as done and then other receivables rent right is a current asset because it's something that it's due to you receivables uh rent okay and that is, how much is that? 500. I'm going to mark this as done. Any other Bs here that are, so 
payables are all liabilities. So that's it for current assets, right? I'm going to sum this up. Um, and then I'm going to put this like that. And that's it. My total assets will be my fixed, my non-current assets plus my current assets. And that's the number that I have landed at. The next is my equity and shareholders, uh, sorry, shareholders equity. Um, so we start with, this is, a, this is a company, right? A private company. So shareholders equity. So no, uh, I start with share capital. Share capital, uh, 100,000 uh, ordinary shares, right? Ordinary shares. Okay, so how much is that? Hundred thousand dollars. Whoops, ten thousand, hundred thousand. Then I'll mark this as done, and then I have retained earnings. Okay, so this one is eighteen thousand two hundred and sixty. Then I have to minus twelve thousand for the dividends, which I recorded here already. Then I have to plus. This is where your profits from the financial position uh, performance statement come, comes in, right? So this number, 43128. So that's the workings that I have to make sure I show. Ah, oh, speaking about workings, I don't think I show workings for the rest of the items. I have to go back and do that, yeah? Okay, so anyway, let's, let's uh, that's what it is, right? And then I have, then I will show this plus this as the total shareholders equity before i continue with liabilities uh, let me let me finish liabilities first okay um so i'm going to take this as done and then liabilities i have trade payables trade payables is one three four eighty okay there's no new number then i'll go and look at my other stuff so i have ws payables as new items as a new item uh, 560 I'm going to mark this as done and then dividend payable that's the last item that's payable dividend payables All right how much is that 12,000 okay and I'm gonna mark that as done to done 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 and then I'm going to sum this up I'm going to do a quick check. All items have been transferred from the trial balance and the journal entries that I need to transfer. So I'm going to add up my shareholders' equity and liabilities. And this is the moment of truth. Does it balance? Wonderful, it balances. So I have the assurance that it is more right than wrong. It could still be wrong, don't get me wrong, right? But there is a tendency, there, there is a higher chance that you've gotten this correct. Right now, I, I mentioned earlier that I, I forgot to transfer the uh, workings, so I'm going to transfer the workings here. Uh, if there are any changes, I don't think there are any changes here, so I think, yeah, I think we're okay. Yeah, yeah, I think we're okay. Uh, so I think that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's uh, been a pleasure, you know, sharing this as always. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, ask over this channel or email me at you know, poa for you at gmail.com. Email address is always on the top left hand corner of these sheets that I share with you. Um, if not, good luck and really hope this uh, has helped. Share it with your friends uh, if you think this is helpful to some, uh, for someone else as well. Uh, if you like the video, you know, like what they say, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel because there will be new questions that I may get and I will share it with you guys as and when I get it as well. All right, so thank you and all the best.